Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Matt Spiegel and I'm a Scientific Communications Veterinarian at Royal Canin Canada. Welcome to the first video in a series of four around the theme of healthy lifestyles and weight management in our pets. Each video is going to cover a topic and we're going to discuss how to discover if your pet is a healthy weight, tips on how to ensure your pet gets their correct meal portions. We're also going to talk about the benefits of physical activity. And finally, we will be discussing how to ensure that your puppy or kitten is growing in a healthy manner. Today, we're going to talk about how we determine if our pet is overweight, underweight, or hopefully an ideal weight. The first step is to definitely weigh our pet on a regular basis. So for example, at each visit to the veterinarian, like their annual examinations, or even regular weight checks if weight is already a concern for your pet. Your vet can follow these weights and look for a trend to see if your animal is maintaining their weight or if they are increasing or decreasing in weight. Your vet also has another special way of determining if your dog or cat is overweight or not, and that's by doing something called a body condition score. A body condition score is a scale of one to nine, sometimes one to five, and it has very specific criteria for each number, with one being way too skinny, and a five out of five or a nine out of nine being considered obese. We're going to use the nine point scale here, and the goal is for your pet to be a four or five out of nine, making them an ideal weight. So we want them to be in the middle. Why do we care about this? Well, there have been several studies that have shown that dogs and cats who are an ideal weight often live longer, they're healthier, and they have a better quality of life. In fact, one study even followed litter mates throughout their lives and found that dogs from the same litter who were on the lean side lived an average of roughly two years longer than litter mates who were slightly overweight. It's even been shown that up to 60% of dogs and cats in North America are overweight or obese, and these numbers are increasing every year, so there's definitely a cause for concern. It definitely takes practice to properly body condition score a dog or a cat, but there are some basic things to look for. The first part is a visual examination. So looking straight down at your pet when they're standing, the goal is to see an indent between the ribs and their hips instead of a straight line. This way we want to see a bit of a waist. The side view of your pet when they're standing in an ideal body condition score, your pet will have what's called a waist tuck or an abdominal tuck. The next step doesn't require any fancy equipment, just your hands. And there are two main areas that we we'll want to be feeling. The first are our pet's ribs. So by running your hands along the ribs, you should be able to feel the bumps of the ribs, but not too prominently. The best way to explain this is by making a fist. And if your dog or cat's ribs feel prominent, like your knuckles here, they're likely underweight. If they feel like the bones in the back of your hands, they're likely an ideal weight. And if they feel like the padded portion of your palm where you can't feel them at all, your pet is likely overweight. The second place we wanna feel is along their back. So similar to their ribs, we wanna be able to feel their spine without it being too prominent. It's also important to note that this is just a general guideline and that proper body condition scoring takes training and practice. Each pet also has individual needs and it's best to talk to your veterinarian and the team as they know your pet's health the best. They also have the ability to trend your pet's weight like we were discussing earlier and they can monitor it over time and see what they are weighing when they are an ideal body condition score and make a nutritional plan that's appropriate for your pet's individual needs. It's always best to be proactive and prevent weight gain from happening. If it does happen, it's easier to get your pet to lose a small amount of weight versus a much larger amount of weight. Although major transformations are possible with the right diet, proper measurements, and a healthy lifestyle, as well as help from your veterinary team. One important stat to be aware of is that research has shown that even an overweight dog losing 6% of their body weight, which is not a huge amount, can actually help increase their quality of life dramatically. So every little bit helps and don't get discouraged if there's bumps along this journey, because there will be, it's a long journey. I hope this was helpful and please join me over the next three sessions as we tackle other tips and help your pet live their healthiest life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.